Bible, the last days, is when Israel is reborn as a nation. That happened May 15, 1948. In the Bible, the last days is when Jerusalem is under the control of the Jewish people. That happened in 1966 in the Six-Day War. Thirdly, the last days is when nuclear weapons have been invented. And if you'll read Zechariah 14, 12, the Bible says, and this is the plague that God shall send on all of the armies that come to fight against Jerusalem, that the skin shall melt from their bodies before their corpse can hit the ground, and their tongue shall melt in their sockets uh, as, as will their eyes. That is the perfect description of a nuclear blast, the heat thereof, which can be 150 million degrees Fahrenheit in a millisecond. I want to tell every Christian in this church and every Christian around the world who's listening to me, get your heart, get your home, get your friends, and get your relatives ready to meet the Son of God because we're soon to leave this world to see Jesus Christ in the clouds of glory. I do greater things than acting so many followers. But marking your body with 666 seems an unusual way to show you're a Christian, even unnerving the tattoo artist. I see you're wearing gross. Protection. <laughs> John Zarella, CNN, Miami Beach. Believe those who say they want to kill you because they usually follow through. When a hate monger says, I will destroy you, history has demonstrated do they mean what they say? Uh, Pharaoh meant it, Haman meant it, Hitler meant it, Ahmadinejad meant it. A zealot of the worst order, armed with the nuclear bomb, and an army of disciples no longer a world away. Well, there's no question that Iran today, without nuclear weapons, is the number one exporter of terrorism in the world. When the United States defeated the Taliban initially, uh, back in 2001 after 9-11, the Taliban uh, had hosted the presence of Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda split into two directions. Part of Al-Qaeda went to Pakistan. That is probably where Osama bin Laden went. But a good portion of Al-Qaeda went into Iran and from Iran ordered terrorist operations against other countries. So that uh, beside the Iranian, well-known Iranian connections with Hamas, with Hezbollah, with Islamic Jihad, the Iranians also are connected to Al-Qaeda. And uh, that whole capability, which has already been striking at the world over the last 20 years, will be magnified once it is under a nuclear umbrella. The fact is Iran has mastered the entire nuclear fuel cycle. They have all the scientific and technological knowledge they need to uh, fashion a nuclear weapon. It's really only a question of time. Uh, and I think we're past the point, unfortunately, where economic sanctions are going to slow them down. Not since Nazi Germany has there been a leader, a government, whose motives are so impervious to reason. Motivated by the absolute conviction that they are right and everyone else is wrong. A belief in a divine purpose that supersedes humanity itself. Mass destruction in the name of God. Almighty Lord, I pray to you to hasten the emergence of your last repository, the promised one, that perfect and pure human being, the one that will fulfill this word with justice and peace. Ahmadinejad, the president of Iran, is a 12er Shia, which is to say that he is awaiting the arrival of the 12th Imam. The Shia believe that this is an individual that has been alive in a, in a state which they call occultation, or 
and he will reemerge uh, out of this, this sort of spiritual cryogenic state and he'll, he'll come onto the world scene. This is what's driving their nuclear development program and they believe they are appointed uh, Ahmadinejad and the people of Iran and especially the mullahs to usher in and bring back the Messiah through an apocalyptic disaster throughout the world. It's like the second coming. It's like uh, the second coming of the Prophet Muhammad. But this is uh, one of his uh, disciples. Uh, and that will be the end times when the world will be redeemed. Redeemed through a worldwide apocalypse. Collective salvation or cleansing by force. A concept associated with the likes of Hitler, Stalin and Mao. It's a belief also embraced by a secretive Islamic movement known as the Hajjatiya Society. Both the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and Mahmoud Ahmadinejad are believed to be members along with key leadership of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard. And in 1983, the Ayatollah Khomeini decided to ban this society as being too much, too, too crazy. They were nuts in his view. What is different in modern Iran today is the rise of Mahdist or messianic groups like the Hojatiya organization, which believes that man can accelerate the arrival of this messianic era, the arrival of the Mahdi. It's not some preordained date in the future, because many religions have an end of times concept. It's something that man can move forward himself. But the way to move that forward is to spread global chaos. One of the most significant, probably the most significant moment was when he made his first address to the United Nations General Assembly in September of 2005, just a few months after he took office. And in this speech he refers a few times to the promised one, a veiled reference to the 12th Imam, and then concluded the speech by praying that Allah would hasten the coming of this promised one, the twelfth Imam. The ultimate promise of all divine religions will be fulfilled with the emergence of a perfect human being. I thought, I hope people are listening. And I hope people will take the time to try and understand what he just said. Few listened. Even fewer understood.